friends. Happy Thursday. We are gonna do a cook with me. So I have a um, organic young chicken here. This is from Costco. If you watched my Costco haul, um, if not, go back and watch that. There's lots of, I love watching Costco hauls. Um, so shout out to my friend Robin from Co-op. This is a nice, quick, easy meal. It's in the Instapot. If you don't have an Instapot, you can, I mean, just put it in your oven. But I typically do not use You have a helper back there. I typically do not use my Instapot very often. Um, it honestly kind of intimidates me. I'm totally a crock pot person, not necessarily Instapot. But Robin from, from Co-op, she told me about this, and I've tried it before, so I know that it works. She told me that you can put a whole chicken in the Instapot for an hour and it will cook perfectly. So, we're gonna get our chicken out. I don't know how big this is. Okay. Put that, I'm putting the legs up in there. And I'm going to wash my hands, so I'll be right back. So I'm going to smother that with some butter. Just have some... more butter, the better, I say. Literally, I love, butter makes everything better, right? I'm just gonna rub that into its skin. How's your guys' Thursday? We are almost there. We are almost to Friday. Friday. No, I'm ready for a weekend. I know the kids are ready for a weekend. They're over at Papa and Mammy's right now, except for little Wyatt back there. Right, this way. I'm gonna put some minced garlic on it too. A few tablespoons probably. I'm just gonna use a fork to spread this so I don't have to wash my hands again. That way I can do my other seasonings. chicken pretty good with salt and pepper. And really, you can use whatever seasonings you want. I know that I think I'm just going to do a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then if you've ever used an Instapot, you know that you have to put water in it or it'll burn. So I'm gonna add a cup of water to the bottom.
That's it, guys. That is as easy as it gets. And then you just want to cook it for an hour. So, friend Robin, she cooks this from an, for an hour from frozen. Um, I'm not that brave. <laughs> so, I've only cooked mine fresh before for an hour, and it's great. Um, if I if it was frozen, I'd probably just cook it for longer, but that's just a personal preference. She cooks it from frozen, and I it turns out great. So I'm gonna put this on for 60 minutes. It's a little bit. Hold on. Okay. And. I'm going to let that cook dinner for me. I'm going to put some asparagus in the air fryer. I've had that air fryer for like a day and a half now, guys, and I love it. It's my new best friend. Um, I can't wait to cook even more and more with it. I love that you can have something cooking in the oven, like chicken or meat, but still cook a veg your vegetable, because I typically roast our vegetables. That's how my kids like them um, in the air fryer. That's It's just perfect. So... Ch the chicken's going, and I will put a clip in here um, tonight when we go to eat it, or when I go to finish it up, I should say. Um, if you put it under the broiler for a couple minutes, it kind of crisps up the skin, so I am going to do that. You don't have to, but it just depends if you like crispy skin or not on your chicken. Or I could probably put it in the air fryer, really, right? So um, I will put it in the oven, though, for the last few minutes. When it's done, I'll cook up some asparagus to go with dinner, but I will be back in a few minutes and we're gonna make mama's homemade banana bread. Okay guys, I'm back. So I got everything kind of semi ready for mama's banana bread muffins. I do change a couple things and I'll put, I can put the ingredients list down in the description. Of course, I refilled my flour and this happens every time. Making a mess everywhere. It's not baking without making a mess, right? Um, I'm gonna do this in my mixer. You can use a handheld mixer or you can just mix it by hand if you prefer that. Um, this is probably, I bake a lot. This is probably my most used kitchen appliance is my um, mixer. So I have, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of butter. I double it, I do four because butter is better, right? That's what I say. And we're gonna go for a cup of sugar. Okay, so one cup of sugar, then you're just gonna cream that together until it gets, you know, like a, a sandy coarse texture. Too. I still need that. Okay, so then we're gonna put in an egg. that together. A couple, two tablespoons of milk. Or I typically just grab the half and half just because it's in the door of the fridge. I'm just gonna do it to just eyeball it, but two tablespoons of milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See 
hopefully they bring you guys closer. There we go. Okay. One to two tablespoons of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? This is real life, guys. Okay. What are you playing with down there? calls for four um, bananas my a few of my bananas are not very ripe so I'm I am using six bananas that's one of the things that I typically change mm -hmm. that super distracting um is adding a couple extra bananas in there just because I like the I think it gives it more flavor and I think it makes the bread or muffins more moist I am gonna do muffins because it's what my kids prefer um, as opposed to like the big loaf of bread. Right. Do you want a piece of banana? Yeah. No? Okay. Some of these. Can you talk to Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> Some of these um, bananas are not as ripe as I would like them, but I wanted to get an easy breakfast done for tomorrow and for the... Are you going to take over this video? Yes. Yes. Your raspberries on your face. You can kind of smash them to whatever consistency you prefer. Um, I like mine to be pretty smashed, but if you like more <laughs> chunks in it, then you can definitely do that too. Whatever you drop, just throw it on in there. Okay, so we are going to. You want banana muffins? Do you want the chocolate chip Yes. So now we're going to add our flowers and our baking soda and powder. So it's two cups of flour. everywhere before okay then we have I think it's a tablespoon yeah. tablespoon of baking powder and then a teaspoon of baking soda Okay. I 
like to kind of clean up as I go because I don't want to deal with the big mess later. You see? Hi. Say hi. mix that till just incorporated. My kids love when I add chocolate chips to them. So I'm gonna add just a few handfuls of them. My mom never did this. <laughs> she always made just a loaf. Get those in a muffin pan and you're gonna bake them at 350 for mm, about 15 or so minutes. big muffin pan here. Let's put them all in. minutes or so I'm gonna check them after 15 and I will insert a picture of what they look like when they're done and we will I'm gonna go ahead and end this video for now but I will also when the chicken's done and when we eat it tonight I will also insert a picture got a fussy baby so we will see you next time and blessings to you and those who are on your table and I hope that you guys have a great weekend bye guys Thank you.